U.S. stocks ended lower on Tuesday after mixed earnings from Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs pressured banks and as sell-offs in Boeing and Apple weighed on the S&P 500. The Dow dropped six-tenths of a percent, the S&P lost almost four-tenths, and the Nasdaq shed two-tenths. Shares of Morgan Stanley tumbled more than 4 percent to a more than one-month low after it posted a lower quarterly profit, while shares of Goldman Sachs ticked higher after it reported a 51 percent rise in profit. Apple dropped more than 1 percent after offering rare discounts on its phones in China in response to stiff competition there. The move comes days after being overtaken by Microsoft as the world's most valuable firm. Eric Ditton, president and managing director of the Wealth Alliance, thinks shares of the tech giant, along with others in the so-called Magnificent Seven, will not sustain the outsized gains they made last year. Apple uh, had four consecutive quarters of declining revenue, just cut prices 5 percent on the iPhone uh, in China. Um, so there's questions uh, and, and they're still trading in you know, high P.E. levels. Uh, um, high 20s, um, and they're not growing nearly as fast. Great, great company, but what's it worth? In other company news, Spirit Airlines slumped 47 percent after a federal judge blocked JetBlue's planned $3.8 billion acquisition of the ultra-low-cost carrier, agreeing with the U.S. Department of Justice the deal would hurt consumers. Boeing slumped almost 8 percent to a two-month low after the Federal Aviation Administration extended the grounding of its 737 MAX 9 airplanes indefinitely, and Wells Fargo downgraded the stock to equal weight from overweight. And advanced micro devices jumped more than 8 percent after Barclays analysts raised their price targets for AMD and several other chip makers, saying they would benefit from growth in artificial intelligence. Larger rival NVIDIA climbed about 3 percent and hit a record high.